Hey everyone, so today I went shopping and I kind of wanted to test out a certain product and I found them today um, and decided to give it a go. So I'm going to show you guys how it goes on, what you guys can use it for and uh, hopefully it turns out well. I haven't tried it out yet so today I'll try to keep it on all day and see how it lasts and I'll let you guys know how it went. So what I'm talking about is the Maybelline color tattoos. And these are the two colors that I got. You can get um, more of a natural color too. You can use those as a base for any eyeshadow. I think I want to give um, this one a try today. And the color is number 10. Uh, fierce and tangy, and then this green colored one is called Edgy Emerald, and that's fifth, number 50. They're really cool colors. They're exactly how you see them right here. You know, sometimes you open up the package and it's nowhere near the color that it is on the outside of the package. I find that a lot of times with MAC products, uh, especially their color pots or their paint pots, you look on the outside, it looks like Oh wow, this is orange. You open it up and it's like, oh, what the hell, it's red. So these ones are literally this color. I tried this one. I actually have this one on my lips right now. I want to see what it what it goes like or how long it lasts on the lip as well. This one, exactly like the outside. So let's go ahead and try this product out. So then we grab a flat brush. This is MAC number 239. And what we're going to do is just pick up the product. You actually don't even need too much of this. And in comparison to some of the other things that MAC has come out with, like Like these. These are cream eyeshadows as well. And even the makeup artist there working on that found these so difficult to use. And I did too. I you have to warm them up. You can't take them out of this thing properly. Um, so these so far seem really creamy and uh, they do pick up easily on the back. So let's try this. Now I do have eyelash extensions on right now so I'm not supposed to wear too much makeup um, but that's another reason why I'm going to go with the cream compared to an eyeshadow that would probably fall out into the eye uh, lashes and I don't want that to happen so let's, let's go so I'm just patting it on I didn't actually put anything on underneath either. Just my regular foundation. Get it really close to the lash line. And to get the best color, that's when you want to pat eyeshadows on or any product on. Because this is a cream, we can try to spread it out a little bit more, but not too much. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're using a cream of uh, product, you don't want to put too much on. The thicker of a layer it is, the more creasing you're going to get. And a lot of people ask me, how do you prevent eyeshadows from creasing? Number one is a primer. So the number one primer that I go to is Urban Decay. Another one that you guys have seen me use is the Laura Mercier one, and that one's really, really good as well. But with these creams, you honestly don't need a primer underneath. You can use this as a primer. And again, you're not going to put too much of the product because that will cause creasing. Even if the product says it won't cause creasing, if you put a lot of it on, it will. 
So, so far, that is one layer of the cream. Which I actually find pretty bold for, for something that came from the drugstore. So, let's go put it on the outer eye. I don't know how fast these are going to dry out. A lot of the um, products that you get do dry out in the pots. Like this one from MAC. It's a paint pot. And look at how dry it is. It's completely come off the edges of the pot. Alright, so I'm going to see how long this one lasts and see if it does the same thing. And I really hope these aren't limited edition or anything because so far I'm really, really like You can leave it like this. Just put the cream on top. Or you can go a step further for it to last even longer. You can go in with a color on top. So on top of this orange, you could probably use another orange color like um, Rule from MAC. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Hold on. So that's Rule. I think that one is the color I'm going to go with. But if you don't want it to be as bright, this one's down. Texture. You can probably put some texture over top of that. To tone it down a little bit, it won't be as bright. But again, uh, it will last all day long, right? So you kind of win-win situation. You can even do, I don't know, you can do something like amber light. I'd probably do this one for going out or something. So let's go over with some um, rule. I'm going to use the same brush. State of Trance episode 550. For live and exclusive features, visit www.astateoftrance.com. Yeah, you can blend that out if you want. Marcus Schultz. And the eyebrow. This is the same color I use. I should probably stock up on these, but it lasts forever. This is carefree by that. And the other thing I like to do is put it right along here. So it kind of gives your eye like an eyelid. And I noticed a lot of times uh, J. Lowe's makeup artist does that for her. They do kind of like a triangle shape, so to go from the eyebrow and then like kind of like a V over here. Give it a try and see how you do it. And now that's it really. You can darken up the crease if you want. I kind of like it like this. Mascara. You can do top and bottom, but I'm only doing it on the bottom because I've got my extensions on. And then for blush, I'm going to use Fresh Honey by MAC. And then you can imagine this. 
this one would be nice for. I'd probably pair this with a bunch of nudes. That is about it. Again, lips, I use the same product. Make sure you put um, a good moisturizer on and underneath because I feel this is getting dry. It's not meant for the lips in the first place, so I don't expect it to stay, but we'll see what happens. You can use an alternative. You don't have to use the exact same thing, but um, another color I picked up from the drugstore was this Revlon number 75 in peach. So you could try something like that. Okay, it's not as pink as that. You can use yeah. something like Rapture. This is CoverGirl number 280. This one's super nice. This one's kind of shimmery. Um, or you can go bold. Wear something else. Or purple. No, I'm kidding. That's a little. That looks like Halloween. I don't want to do that. Um, this is by Mac. This smells so good. Creme de Nude by Mac. This one's a nice one. If you want to go a little lighter. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comment below, ask me, and I'll try to answer. Um, I know some of you can ask where I got my eyelash extensions done from, and that was from Noir Lash Lounge here in Vancouver. And um, I like them. Just, you really gotta know how to maintain them. If you sleep on them wrong, they'll be all retarded, and it's gonna end up really clumpy and not looking so good. So if you have them, make sure you get one of these if you don't have one of these, and you can always comb this out. You want to be gentle when you're doing that because you don't want to pull any of the hairs out, but it kind of keeps them straight. Um, you can't wet them for the first 24 hours. What else? Uh, after that, they basically just go in for a touch-up, which they do about half the set and I'll just fill in anything that might have fallen out already and it costs anywhere between 40 and 80 40 and 80 dollars depending on where you go and uh, it lasts for a good I probably say about a month I got it looking funny and then you can get them taken off too so if too many of them fall out and you realize you're just gonna look all patchy you can get them all taken off Good for that, of course. The room here and Expo in Kiev. the other thing is, people ask all the time, the is, is uh, the do your eyelashes fall out with it? People so said, yes, they do. But actually, the they don't any more than they usually do. So the they're attached to your eyelash. Now, when your eyelash hey, comes out, so does one of the extensions. And you don't notice yeah. it because yeah. maybe the extension is still caught on something, it's still there, but that hair is falling out. So. Um, okay, we're gonna ask him later about that. Out, By the way, know. guys, thank you they're, so much for all your exactly Twitter's hash ASOT550. We're reading along so here. So, give him a try, give him a thumbs up. I did these two products a thumbs up. And again, that was the 24-hour. Yes, this is your request you? to do something oh, drugstore really related, great, you know, I'm so and uh, most of these products really are drugstore related. You can get to play a peachy colored my uh, set tonight. Well, so thanks to you. From what the was the store. highlight of your set? There's what was the, the, the biggest track comments. for you? What, what, what do you um, think you got the best reaction? The crowd. Um, I foundation, really I just used my regular foundation. Tokyo, drugstore foundation, I'm still on the hunt to find something that's good enough to rave about. There's one though that I got a sample of. It's called um, the Ramel Wake Me Up Foundation and it comes in a glass kind of a tube or a glass kind of a bottle and it has, I think it's an orange lid. I don't know if it's a brand new product or what but I tried it and there's never really been any kind of foundation besides like the higher end one that I've gone to more than once and this I feel like I would buy. I got a sample of it and I feel like I would, I would buy it. Um, it's really, really moisturizing, which I need for my skin to be really dry. I wouldn't uh, go for it if your skin is oily. Probably if you're between normal and dry. And uh, it has really good coverage. So if you're looking for a drugstore brand, try a Rimmel Wake Me Up. I think that's what it's 
called, I, I don't even know where that sample package went, but uh, if you do try it, comment below and let me know how you liked it. If you've not tried it, let me know if you're going to try it, um, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, I'm off to watch the Canucks, Vancouver Canucks play, and uh, we'll see who wins. Oh my lacy hair bow. Thought I actually made. I'll do a tutorial on how to make these. I've made a bunch of them. And uh, they're pretty cool. You can put them wherever you want. You can put them on your head. You can wear them as a collar. You can pop them on your shirt. You can put them in your hair. Whatever. 